You can use SoundSlice to sell your own video lessons and transcriptions. Whether you're putting together a collection of etudes for your fans or detailed lessons for students, offering lessons through SoundSlice is the best way to present your music learning material and to make money. In this video, we'll talk about how to put the finishing touches on your SoundSlice course and offer some guidance on marketing it. Once you've added all the slices to your course, you'll want to write an informative description for your sales page. After you've worked hard on your lessons and notation, it can be tempting to be tired and not to write very much here, but trust us, it's well worth the time. When writing, put yourself into the shoes of someone who's looking at the course for the first time. You'll want to tell them what material is going to be covered, if you're including any downloads like backing tracks, describe if you're offering a collection of lessons or transcriptions, and mention what level of musician the course is recommended for, beginner, intermediate, advanced. A great question to answer is, when you're done working through this course, you'll be able to do this. The next thing you can do is add a YouTube promo video directly to your course's sales page. This is a good opportunity to speak directly to your customers and help them understand what you'll be teaching. This doesn't need to be a highly produced video. It's okay if it's quite personal and using just a simple webcam. If you do have some video editing chops, you might want to include some visual snippets of the material that's in the course. You could make these video snippets by using simple screen recording software. Once you've uploaded a video to YouTube, click the share button and copy the video's URL. Paste that link into the YouTube video field in your course settings page. YouTube promo videos add a personal touch to your course and also serve as a marketing tool on YouTube and Google. Using YouTube's tools, be sure to include useful search terms in an informative title. Make sure you add a link to buy the SoundSize course at the top of your YouTube's video description. You can select up to three slices from your course for customers to preview for free. Previewing slices lets people interact with the notation and give the best example of what your course feels like. Just click Add a Preview toward the bottom of your course's settings page. Then select the slice you'd like to add. These preview slices will show up above your course's track listing. By default, adding a preview will make the entire slice available for free. If you'd like to show only portions of a slice as a preview, you'll need to duplicate that slice and make some edits to it. Here's how to do that. In the Slice Manager, click the More button of the slice you'd like to offer a portion of. Click Duplicate Slice and refresh the page. You'll now see the duplicate in your Slice Manager. Open it and rename it so you know it's a preview and not the original. Then, you can delete the measures and sync points that you'd like to exclude. In this example, I'll include just the opening five measures. So I'll delete all the measures and sync points after the fifth. After that, I'll crop the recording so the rest of it doesn't play. Now you can add this new slice to your course as a free preview, just like we did before. The preview slice on your course page can also be published to your channel. We recommend doing this because slices published to your channel can be discovered by others on different parts of the SoundSize website. For instance, anyone that follows you on SoundSize will get an email whenever you publish a new slice to your channel. Channel posts can show up in the site-wide search as well on any site-wide genre pages that show any slice for a given genre. What's useful about these published previews is that when someone stumbles upon one, they'll actually see a link to the course that it's a preview of. And now that your course page is ready to go, you should feel free to share it in a newsletter or any social media pages you might have. We hope this was useful in getting your SoundSize course together. If you have any questions, feel free to add a comment below.